Let's create this entire slide on PowerPoint and in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to create each and every icon on this slide. So let's start. I've already typed in all the contents I'm gonna use in this slide so let's start. First slide we have this. So you can see there are two boxes over here. This is the header and this needs to stand out. So what I'm gonna do is just drag it over there and then I'm gonna make it pinkish. It stands out. Then I'm gonna increase the size and make it 18. It also stands out and make it bold. Done. Our content is ready. I've done the same thing for other slides as well. And one thing to notice is that the texts are in the same small spot in every slide. You need to make sure of that so that it becomes beautiful. Done. Next, we'll create the icons. So what can we do? Uh, first of all, passion is contagious. So passion, when we say passion is contagious, uh, what comes in my mind is heart. So I'm gonna go to shapes and get this heart and just drag it over there. Boom, done. And place it in the middle. Then I'm gonna go to shape outline, press no outline and go to shape fill, make this pink, done. And contagious, it needs something fiery. So I'm gonna create something fire. Go to inside, go to shapes and pick this teardrop shape and just drag it over there. Rotate it a bit. And you have this yellow dot over the top. I'm just gonna stretch it a bit. Done. Then what I'm gonna do is go inside again, go to shapes and pick this oval shape and drag it over there. Done. Then I'm just gonna drag over these two objects and go to merge shapes and click fragment. What we'll do is create fragments. Done. I'm just gonna drag in these two and delete them. Now we have left is this. I'm just gonna Control D to duplicate it and rotate it on the other side and place it right over there. So it creates our fire. I'll just drag it over there and go to shape outline, press white and shape fill this pink. Done. I'm just going to press on this and press right click and bring it to front. Done. Then I'm just going to press on this and press right click and group them and minimize them and put them right over here. To this them a little bit more I'm just going to shape outline and go to weight and make it a bit heavy done our first slide icon is ready for the next slide make your message understandable you gotta make someone understand your message so I'm just gonna create a message box go to insert go to shapes and then you have this message box over here just drag it over there done our message box is ready you have this yellow dot you can drag it or whatever do you can wish now I'm just gonna go to shape outline press no outline and make this pink done so what this says is you need to make your message very clear so I'm just gonna go to insert go to shapes and pick this rectangle and drag it over there done go to shape outline no outline and go to shape fill make this white and keep it big and press ctrl shift and drag it so it will create a duplicate I'm just gonna minimize it, press ctrl shift again and drag it, press ctrl shift again, I'm just gonna drag this too and press ctrl shift then drag this too. For the last time, I'll press ctrl shift and drag them outside. There. There you go. Then I'll just drag over this and go to format, go to align and distribute vertically. So it would distribute it vertically. Done. We need to make our masses stand out. So I'm gonna go to insert, go to word art and make a masses stand out. What will be our message? I'll say save energy. Done. Now I'll go to home. I'll give Heviatus font. There you go. I'll minimize it a bit and put it right over here. A little bit of minimization would be needed. There you go. I'll click on this S so the shadows disappear and make this pinkish or maybe black, a darkish ash. There you go. Our this icon is ready for the next slide make your masses memorable so make it memorable what comes in my mind is a brain so I'll make a brain icon go to shapes and pick this cloud yes we're gonna create a cloud first so we have this cloud over here you just squeeze it a bit or squeeze it the other way around there you go and then go to shape outline make it white and go to shape and make it pink done Go to shape outline again and make the weight a bit heavy, three point, and go to this point, form a shape, this little point, and click this and a window will pop up. I'll go to line, 
I'll cap type this round and it will smoothen it a bit. Done. Then I'm just gonna close this window. Then go to insert curve shapes and pick this curve. What it's gonna do is click is gonna create a point, another click is gonna create another point, and click another point, and this way it will create a curve for you. Click and for the last point, you just loop it. Done. Our loop is done. And I'm just minimize a bit and click on this shape fill and shape outline no outline and just press right click and bring to back send to back and our brain icon is ready then what it says is rule of three so one two three I'm just create one two three go to insert go to order and press a text just type in one I'm gonna change it to agency FB Agency FB font or maybe just Calibri for the simplicity done and create it bold I'm just gonna minimize it a bit I'm gonna make it white so that it stands out over here and go to format and edit shape I'm gonna change shape and pick this oval the oval you cannot see I'm just gonna go to shape outline and make this white and now you can see the oval done now what I'm gonna do is stretch it a bit and pick this form a shape again and go to line I'm just gonna increase the width a bit and dash type I'm just gonna round it a bit done one I'm just press ctrl D on one it will duplicate and I'll just change the text to two and it will decrease the font size a bit and make it round again done I'll press ctrl D again to duplicate and I'll make it three and decrease its font size again and there you go our this icon is also ready so our slide 3 is done time for slide 4 make your message emotional and you know always add photos to your PowerPoint presentation so I'm gonna create a slide so go to shape and pick this round rectangle and just drag it over there boom there you go I'm gonna squeeze it a bit the yellow dot over here and I'm just gonna minimize it a bit there you go and just go to shape fill and pick this dark ash color and go to shape fill pick this no outline and just press ctrl shift and drag it out there done i'm gonna go to insert again go to shape again and pick this rectangle and drag it over there it will serve as the screen and i'm gonna press right click and send to back go to shape outline no outline and shape fill pick it pink done then i'm gonna create the stand i'm just gonna go to insert go to shapes and pick this trapezium now here's the fun part First, I'm create. I'm gonna create this. Go to shape and outline and shape fill. Make this dark ash. I'm gonna control D to duplicate it and minimize it a bit and make this the color of the background. And it will create our stand automatically. Done. Make your mass emotional. The final thing, emotional. What comes to your mind? A heart. So go to insert. Go to shapes and pick this heart and just put it right there and make it white each and every slide is ready another thing you would notice is that there's a litter on the side of each thing it creates a touch a clean touch so what i'm going to do is go to our first slide go to insert go to word uh, oh sorry go to word art and pick this plain text and press one done now i'm going to change the font to agency a because it's a very thin font i'm going to Press S so that shadows disappear and increase the font size so that it, you know, gets over the whole screen. It creates the whole screen. Yeah, done. Now I'm gonna change the color to this slightly higher tone than the background so it creates a nice touch. First, it's done. Then I'm press Ctrl C to copy and then go to second side and Ctrl V to paste. Then I'm gonna just change it to two done and put it right there then ctrl c again and ctrl v on the next slide and i'm gonna make it three and then go to fourth slide ctrl v and make it four and our slides are ready done now for the final part uh we are gonna make a review so let's look at the review review we have created these icons i'm gonna show you how to do those so on the first slide we have this now you will see why we created these two boxes. We're just gonna drag over these two and press right click and copy. Then go to plus side and press 
this picture you done and just minimize it a bit and our each and every slide is reviewed on the last page and it makes the work so easy you're just gonna have to duplicate the last three and put those right over there done our last slide is also done now for the cover which needs to be the best i'm gonna make it just simple so i've typed in this four things on four boxes now i'll create the main cover so i'm just gonna drag over this three and make this Hivitius font done my favorite font <laughs> so I'm just gonna increase the font over a bit all right done and make this all this in between two lines so I'm gonna make it 6 6 I'm gonna increase it uh, all right done I'm gonna make the communication big again communication secrets for inspiring communication all right so we need some middle ground over here so what I'm gonna do is type 42 no too big type 40 or maybe 38 and 38 works for us done now for the secrets for increase it it becomes big decrease it becomes very small I'm just gonna type in 52 let's see if it works no too big I can type it 50 and it works done our slide is ready done for the last part this I'm just gonna change it to agency FB and increase it in size and to make it stand out I'm just gonna change its color to pinkish and make it bold done our cover photo is almost ready for the last part go to insert go to shapes go to rectangle and just drag it over there and go to shape outline no outline and go to shape fill make this dark ash what it does is focus on the main thing that's why I'm creating this outline I press ctrl D to duplicate it and make the other thing pinkish pinkish or maybe yep yeah, pinkish yep yeah, done and I'm gonna minimize it a bit and put it right over there I'm just gonna drag this two and press ctrl G to group them then press ctrl D to duplicate them and then I'm just gonna rotate them and put it right over here and there you go our slide is ready from first to last you've seen how to create this slide and each and every icon of this slide thanks for watching and don't forget to share and if you can just press subscribe so then you can get more of these videos thanks for watching